I'm going to do a playthrough of Rome Total War as the Julii faction. Um, I might do other factions after this, but for now I'm just going to do this one. And um, yeah, you can enjoy the intro. Alright, so here we go. The first mission that the, se the Senate gives you for the Julii faction is take Suggesta. Suggesta? I guess is the name of the settlement. Um, here we go. I'm going to zoom down in on my map. Give you a better view of what units I have, what armies I have. So, um, this is what I always do at first. I take the army from my leader and I merge it with Vibius Julius's and then I march on the rebel settlement. Always take it in one turn. And fight battle on the map. Um, I don't really need to fight the battle on the map. It would be a lot faster if I just um, auto resolve the battle but it's a lot cleaner and less men die if you do it this way. Usually. Um, unless you're pretty bad at the game. Less men will die when you do it this way rather than the auto resolve. And at the beginning of every battle, your um, general generally gives a speech. You skip it, just hit start battle. It'll zoom out. I always group those together those together and typically my long range units together and oh start the battle so this battle really won't require much it's against rebels so it's not huge Oh, I just accidentally told them to withdraw. Yeah, if you want to know how to do that, you hit the W button. I'm thinking of Empire Total War, where uh, you can actually move your screen around by hitting that button. So, So I'm just deploying my men around the rebel settlement so I can attack them and hopefully not lose too many men. Um, fire at will mode and guard mode are good if you want to have them throw their javelins on their own when enemies get close and stand their ground instead of um, running around and attacking after they attack you send them off to attack that first faction or first group what they'll do under orders to stand guard is they'll stay where they are so here we go just gotta speed up time a little here 
make sure my men are in place. And... There we go. Seems my archers are in range. Two legions approaching from each side. So, here we go. This first battle shouldn't really take you too long. Um, if you really want it to, it, it can. But generally, I like to end battles as quickly as I can. So... No idea where my second group is going, but I have a good idea it was supposed to be the other way. And you want to get close up and see him actually mesh around, you can. And actually right now I'm probably losing more units than I should, but hey, I play the game more for the fun than just to continuously beat the crap out of my opponent in the best way possible, losing the least amount of men possible. Though it is good to do that sometimes, and sometimes it is required um, to get past the part you're at. But right now, not really, they're just rebels. Um, my general heal pretty fast, and... Um, I have a way that I heal my normal units um, if my settlement isn't big enough, so. As long as my general doesn't die, that's all that really matters. Because generals in this game, unlike some of the other, unlike the newer ones, newer Total War games that I've played, generals, um, are family members, and family members are actually important for your faction to keep going in this game, so. Yeah. If you have any suggestions on what other faction I should do, um, just leave it right in the comments, and I'll, uh, I'll look at my comments, and along with this one, I'll put another one on. And there you go. I just won the battle and took the settlement. By the way, there are going to be, if I didn't mention it already, there are going to be many episodes. As well as this one, I'm going to do the complete campaign, not just part of it. I'm going to do the whole thing all the way through. And um, I set it for a long campaign, so it is going to take me quite a while to do the whole thing. But I hope you guys enjoy it, and um, hope you guys keep watching. I'm actually going to set my tax, rate, tax rates to as low as possible while, while I still gain money, so I'm probably just going to set them to normal for now, um, so my population can grow and the city can grow, also the, people, the amount of people I tax can grow, so I'm 
going to build stables and practice ranges at first at all my things and some other stuff to ensure that my cities grow and that I have a force I can build there. I'm going to spy on the gulls and send the diplomat up to the Germans. And that'll probably be the end of my first turn. So, it doesn't really matter which turn you do it on, it, um, but that settlement suggests or Segesa, Gesta, you should take fairly quickly. You shouldn't actually need 10 turns. It should go by pretty fast. Um, I'm just looking for my missions. So they want me to take that city from the gulls. So to do that, I'm going to take what infantry was hurt, which was all my Hastati, move it back to there, and retrain them real quick. And my diplomat's going to keep moving up. Do 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 do. In uh, Medieval 2 Total War, you, I could have made him move faster at the end of the turn. Um, I don't know how to do that in Rome at the end of the turn. I do know how to do it at the, uh, like while you're still playing. You just click the place you want to go and then right click. Alright. Move those there for defense. Build a governor's house. And oh well, my uh, spy got stopped. I didn't notice that. I'll have to move him again next turn. And this is basically what Graham campaign is. It's on a large scale, building your infrastructure, your cities, and your units to actually go and attack different places. I'm gonna send my spy to the city that I'm gonna take. And they don't have crap there. They do have the faction there, though, so if I do attack it, good chance that I'll kill him. So I'm going to take the army that I used to besiege that. And go there. If you can see, I'm not making too much money per turn. Um, it's because my taxes are so low compared to what I usually have them on. I usually have them on um, very high, but I want to grow my cities a little bit faster so I can build stronger units and such. So a very important thing sometimes is trade, which is why I'm sending this guy up to try and find the Germans. I'm only going to build one ram. Usually I'd build two, but I really don't see a need for two, and one usually gets the job done fairly easily. turn. Oh, forgot about my diplomat again. Fun, fun. And there's the Germans that I'm looking for. After them, I'll probably go out and find the Britons and do the same exact thing. I usually don't attack them after a while, um, for a, a long time anyways. 
if I attack them at all. Uh -huh. Train range. Oh. Let's see if that one works. Yep. Allies and trade rights. Good. So here. And I'm gonna confront them on the ground. Um I won't auto resolve too much, only if I absolutely don't see any point in actually going down into the battle. If it's just going to waste more time than is needed, then I'll auto-resolve and move on. And it said that the gate was going to be open because of my spy, so I'm probably not going to need that ram. And I'm probably going to, I'm forming the same groups that I did last time. And I'm going to turn skirmish off and guard mode on for all my missile units. It's usually standard because if my line gets attacked and they are close to my line, that can usually turn up to be a bad thing. So that's going to be my first move is to move in on the units guarding the open gate. They are war band light infantry, so they do carry spears, so I'm not going to move my general in too close. My legion marching away. And the first thing they're going to do is get spears thrown in their face and that kills a lot of them including the missile shooting from my archers and that is the announcer who tells you almost everything that goes on in the battle whether it's you killing the enemy general you're at your enemy army retreating, your enemy general retreating, or your general retreating or dying. It can get pretty annoying, but... So they went from like 240-something to 98 units, um already in this or infantry in this unit so I'm going to try and get my whole army in here before I move on to capture the settlement. Because they do still have quite a few men and their general marching around back there. So here we go. Oh. 
And I'm just going to speed this up a little so it goes a little bit faster. <laughs> my units in now I think. Nope, I still got my missile units waiting way back out here. And they won't come in. So here, I'm moving up the hill right now with one group and I'm guarding the flank with the other because of these men here. Actually, I'm going to try and engage those before they get too far. Oh, wow. Vilites ran out of ammo. That is one bad thing about this game is that your units will run out of ammo and when they do, they will start attacking with their hands hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff like that Alright, my Roman archers just got a little too close, and I don't know why, they should still have arrows left, they do, there we go, that should be better, and I'm closing that group off, so... I found their cavalry. Good thing if I stop that now. Oh crap. One bad thing about enemy cavalry charging. Um, you don't really have any early game spearmen, so you just have to deal with the triaria that the Senate decides to give you, which can be bad. Alright. I just lost 60 plus men from that charge, and I keep losing more. And now that whole group is retreating. So that's fun. I definitely didn't intend for that to happen at all. But let's see if my Triaria I could deal with can deal with it a little bit better. Now my scattered units. It's part of a hole. 
should head back up the hill. I definitely didn't intend for this battle to take so long, but it seems like it's going to take a little bit longer than I suspected. And, yeah. But hopefully I'll still win. I have lost quite a few men. I don't think enough to lose, but, um... I definitely didn't expect to lose that many men. It's probably the major thing about it. Okay, now before I lose my Roman general... There we go. There we go. See, if I was Greece, that wouldn't have been as much as a problem because hoplites. And hoplites are really good. Not just against cavalry, though, against infantry, too. And it just. It definitely saves you in battle a lot if you have hoplites. So here we go. No! Well... That sucks. Oh! I just... like really did something with my, my camera and lost... almost lost a whole infantry unit. But I was hoping to kill his en the enemy, ge my enemy's general, because they keep charging, and I don't know why. I've never seen a general do general unit do this before. Usually, once it retreats, it retreats. But um, definitely going for something different here, I guess. I'm probably gonna lose more of this battle than I have killed. Um, and if that's not what you wanted to see, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> But, it happens to me sometimes. I'm not the best at this game, I still got a lot to learn. Hoping to do it pretty soon. It's fun. Just definitely need to get better at it. And here we go. I'm gonna take my Triari and move them up as well. There we go, that's the button I'm looking for.
Ah, oh, well. Oh, my archers in to shoot up my enemies some more. Oh, I totally didn't notice that. That is awesome. When you kill your enemy's general, their morale is definitely a lot lower. See, it's kind of tough doing these sieges because the enemy won't stop fighting usually um, happens and it's not surprising I mean what would you anyone do if they can can't really retreat anyways they can just keep breaking and falling back and breaking again I'm just going to speed up the game a little. And I have lost a lot of men so far. I'm, I was hoping that the archers would make a difference, but not one of my better sieges. Here we go. And if you're doing what I do, I'm doing now, you just hover over the unit and it'll tell you, like, um, how it is, if it's tired, um, if it's about to route, stuff like that. And this is going to take a while. Kind of deadlocked with our troops, so I'm just going to speed it up. Hopefully just to get this battle done a lot quicker. I will do that sometimes because battles can drag on for a long time. And when you're just kind of locked like this and there's nothing else you can do, um, it's kind of just the thing to do is just speed it up, get it done, and move on. You lose a lot more men that way, but I guess it's something that happens all the time. Alright. Yeah. Not too bad, I guess. I killed more than I actually lost, so that's not horrible. But, um... Yeah. So, uh, I think that's gonna fin do it for the first episode, um, of Rome Total War Julia Campaign. Come back next time and watch me kill more goals, I guess. <laughs> that's what I'll be doing for a while, so... gonna fade out to black and you guys hope you enjoyed hope you keep watching